Hello again, my name is Manic, and welcome back to my Dirt Rally 2.0 Comprehensive Beginner's Guide. Today we are going to cover three basic racing techniques that are guaranteed to help you improve your times and are very easy to implement. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to look ahead. And what this is going to do is it's going to give your brain a little bit more time to react to things coming up on the road. Um, you're going to be able to plan the movement of your car and you're going to be using all the information that is available to you through your senses and it's also going to help you follow a more natural racing line. Um, so let, when we talk about looking ahead on the road what I'm talking about is your eyes, if you can follow my cursor here, it's going to go um, probably about here or so, so it's about one second ahead of where you are going to be. Um, when you're first starting off, you're going to have a tendency to want to look down here because this is a lot of information is coming in and you know this is where your tires are at. But really, you should be thinking about what you're going to be doing when you get up here. Like, if you're trying to make decisions with all this coming in, like it's going to be too late. And so you're always going to want to have to get your eyes ahead on the road where you think you're going to go. Um, and like I said, this is going to have a lot of advantages for you when it comes to getting a lot faster and just being able to uh, give your brain a lot more time to process what's going to happen. The next thing that we want to do is to listen to our co-driver. Now your co-driver is going to give out what are called pace notes and these pace notes are going to be necessary to visualize the road ahead. Um, I'm going to provide a link in the description where you can find out what all these pace notes mean. Um, but the advantage of these is that by following your pace notes, it's going to help you become a more consistent driver. Um, it's going to be you're going to be able to go faster, and you're going to be able to drive safer, so you won't be crashing all the time. And one of the ways that we can utilize pace notes is um, to decide how fast we're going to take a turn. So what you want to do is to try to make a mental note of how fast you are taking a particular turn. So if there's like a four left coming up, you know, take a look at your a speedometer and see you know how many miles per hour you're able to take that turn without crashing um, and you want to for the next subsequent turns you're going to uh, try to hit that exact same speed every time um, this is the consistency part and if you do this this is really going to help you gauge not just your car's limits but your own abilities as a driver and in time the more that you practice this um, you'll get more comfortable being able to push these speeds and you'll be able to go faster and you're going to be crashing a lot less by following pace notes. So that's the second thing we can do. Listen to your co-driver. Alright, the last and final thing that we can do to uh, become a faster driver is to take late apex corners. Now what is a late apex corner? Well, it is a racing line that Apex is right after a traditional apex turn. So I have queued up here in the replay um, one example of that. So if you were to look at a traditional apex or tri for your um, for a racing line, what you would normally see is a car that follows this path and hits right about here would be considered the traditional apex. And from this point on is when the car will accelerate out. And this is typically considered the fastest way around a corner, or rather the, the fastest way to carry speed around a corner. Um, but in rally, we don't necessarily always want to do that. And even I think in traditional racing, you don't necessarily want to do that either because there's a lot of turns and that's going to affect the motion of your car, especially depending on how fast you're going around these turns. Um, and so instead of taking this traditional apex, we take a late apex, take a late apex, which will typically occur maybe around here. Um, so I have here queued up a demonstration of that. Um, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So here we go. All right, so um, obviously that was not the most perfect uh, late apex. But, as you can see, I was not, did not try to hit it right here. But rather, I started turning in a little bit later than when you would traditionally take a turn like this. And so, what I'm trying to do is trying to hit it 
over here as best I can. So obviously this wasn't perfect, but I think this gives a, a demonstration as to why we do late apex. First advantage of taking a late apex is the fact that it encourages slow in, fast out driving. And what that means is, if I back up here, when we come into this turn, we actually take our time braking and we're not actually turning until the last moment. So we actually spend a lot of time slowing down the car. Um, the second thing is it's much more forgiving than taking a traditional Apex. When you take a racing line like that, um, you have to be absolutely perfect. Like that you cannot make any mistakes. Um, but with a late Apex, you're gonna have a lot of leeway. And in Riley driving, you know, there's a lot of different things on the road that make it a lot harder to hit a traditional Apex. And so that's why we like to do late apex, especially for roads that you are unfamiliar with. You want to give yourself as much space on the road to make any adjustments to your car, especially when you're sliding all over the place. And, you know, being able to take a late apex turn is, um, it's just a, it's just a very good habit to get into if you do not know exactly what kind of, um, what kind of line that you want to take through a course. So I highly recommend that you take a late apex turn whenever you get the chance. So um, that should do it for my video on the basics, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.